Hello and welcome to this new series of videos on rational numbers. Now let us have a quick look at the topics that we will be touching upon on this chapter on rational numbers. Now since the name of the chapter is rational numbers so you can get an idea that we will be focusing on these new type of numbers. But before we do that we will do a quick recap of the different numbers that we have learned. So we will look at what do we mean by natural numbers, the whole numbers and the integers and then we introduce the rational numbers. So the new numbers that you are going to learn is these numbers. Then we look at the different properties of rational numbers. So what properties are we going to consider? We will look at closure, commutativity and associativity for these numbers and we will see these properties under the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division for the rational numbers. We will also understand what do we mean by additive inverse for the rational numbers what is a multiplicative inverse for rational numbers and then we also explore the property of distributivity for rational numbers. Now just wanted to remind you that all these properties like the closure, the commutativity and associativity and distributivity, we have studied all this for the, the numbers that have been introduced earlier, for example the whole numbers and integers. We are going to study these properties for rational numbers in this chapter. The next part we look at is how do we represent the rational numbers on a number line. We have already learned at representing, representing the natural, the whole numbers and the integers on a number line. How do we represent rational numbers? Once we look at the representation of the rational numbers, we will look at another important part of finding out how many rational numbers exist between any two rational numbers. And in specific, we are going to look at two methods. So, so there could be same denominator or different denominator in a rational numbers. And we will also look at another method uh, which involves using the mean. So we will discuss these details later. So. That is what we are going to cover in this chapter.